You're watching the Northeastern News Program that keeps you up to date, aware, and informed on all things related to Northeastern High School. This is High Street Morning News. Good morning, Northeastern. Today is Wednesday, January 4th, 2017. It's cycle day two. I'm Ryan Schindler. And I'm Alex Raymond, and you're wearing that sweater I like. I am, and you're wearing that sweater that says baseball, and I like that. So let's get started. A representative from Thaddeus Stevens College will be in the College and Career Center this Friday, January 6th at 9 a.m. If interested, stop by room 403 to sign up. Seniors, the verification sheet for your names for your diplomas is hanging outside the door of the library. Please stop by and check the spelling of your full name because if it is correct, you can initial in the sheet. If there is a misspelling, please make the correction and then initial the sheet. The verification sheet should be done by the end of the day this Friday, January 6th. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Newcomb, Mrs. Knizek, or Mr. Cook. Reminder to students who stay after school who stay after school this Friday. Once tutoring or your after school activity is completed, you must wait for rides in the main office lobby or the ninth grade lobby. Students may not be unsupervised in other areas of the school after school hours. So there will be a baking sale taking place real soon, an art contest, <laughs> as well as holiday hoops tournament. And we have Fatu Sawane down in Mr. Brown's room to talk to you guys more about it. Fatu. Who are you with thanks, and what's going guys. on? Okay, thanks. I'm down here with all of these guys and they're going to... They're, okay, first off, they're going to tell me about the tournament. What is this tournament about? Um, it's a basketball tournament and it is going to be, I guess, three on three. All right. Um, when and where do you sign up for this? Um... I'm not sure they're over there. Okay. Let me slide in real quick. <laughs> um, you sign up for this on January. Sign up right now. You can sign up whenever. Uh, in Mr. Brown's room. Um, oh. Yeah. Okay, and what what is this for? What is the tournament for? Um, for class for our, our sports and business management class. All right. Um, next off, we're going to talk about the vacant contest. Um, who is who is hosting this baking contest? Um, a group of people, including Colin, Tyler, and I. All right. Um, why is it being held? It's being held because um, for a class we had to come up with an event, and we thought it would be a good idea to have like a baking contest to for people to show off their skills. Um, how does someone submit their baked entry? Um, you'll bring them in next Wednesday in the morning. You can drop them off in the morning. You can bring them down to Mr. Brown's room, which is 405. And um, you can submit them during AP as well, but that is when we'll be testing them. All right. Um, when and where is this contest? The contest is next Wednesday, so you have from now till next Wednesday to bake your stuff. And it's being held right here in room 405. All right. Next, we're going to talk about the art event. What's going to be happening at the art event? Um, so we're doing an art event, and people are drawing. Like, you can f turn in, like, any form of art. And, yeah, you can just turn it in, and they we're going to be judging it. And, yeah. Okay. Um, when and where is it, and how can you sign up? Um, you can sign up whenever. When is it? Where is it? Um, we're going to be judging it at the cafeteria. At the oh. cafeteria. Okay, all right, guys. Make sure you sign up for these events. Back to you guys at the studio. Thank you very much, Fatu. And make sure everyone go out and sign up for those events. We have a few scores to tell you guys. So let's take it to M-Level Sports. Good morning, everybody. Boys basketball was at home to take on Spring Grove at 7.30 as they swept them away with the final score of 75 to 59. Girls basketball was away to take on West York but fell 56 to 21. And boys and girls swimming was away to take on Gettysburg at 6. Boys swimming fell to Gettysburg with a 49 to 113 score. But girls swimming beat Gettysburg with a close game and a final score of 79 to 73. Today we have one game, which is girls basketball, and they will be away to take on Cocalico at 7.30. C 
Seniors, reminder that your presentation plan is due to your panel and Ms. Newcomb no later than 2.45 p.m. today. Please be respectful to your panel members and do not interrupt their class to drop off their presentation plan. Now here's what's for lunch today. Today's lunch will be chopped steak sub. Sandwich of the day is chicken patty or Italian sub. And there will be meat lovers pizza in the pizza line. For tomorrow's breakfast, we're having breakfast sandwich wrap. And tomorrow's lunch will be spaghetti with meatballs and Texas toast. Sandwich of the day is pub burger with fixins or tuna and chicken salad. And there will be barbecue and buffalo chicken pizza in the pizza line. We'll be right back after this. Tracks fact number 145, C stands for come prepared to learn. Don't forget to show up to class with a pencil. Don't show up to class without your homework. And don't leave your binders, folders, and notebooks at home. Don't be a fool. Be well prepared for school. This has been your Daily Tracks Fact. Stay tuned next time when we learn about the letter K. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused, fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise, Louise, can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com. Good morning, everyone. I'm here this morning with the man, the myth, the legend, Antonio Rizzuto. I heard you guys had a big game last night. What was the big deal? Well, uh, last year we, we lost to them when we were undefeated. We lost to them in counties. Um, so, I mean, it was a big game for us, and we're undefeated this year, too. So we, uh, we had to beat them this year, and it was a good win for us last night. So, so they're a pretty tough team. What makes them such a tough competitor? Um, well, they got Eli Brooks, if you don't know who that is. Um, I mean, we, we had to play him good, and he still had a really good game, but uh, so did our team, so that, that helped. We had um, four of our starting five players getting double digits, so that was, that was really good, but we, we played together this year, and that really helps. So. You guys had a really strong game. What was the atmosphere at the game like? <sighs> Atmosphere was great. Every time we scored, the student section was going crazy and stuff, and we owe a lot to them because, I mean, it, that, that gets us going when you guys get crazy. So, um, yeah, the atmosphere was crazy. Sold out game, and uh, yeah, it, was, it was crazy. So, talking about the sold out game, how did it feel to know that that many people wanted to come out and uh, see you guys was, play this It was game? crazy. I mean, I, I never played at Northeastern before when the game was sold out like that. So, uh, it was it was a good feeling so to be able so to play. So you'd say them, it's so. a pretty rare occurrence that these games get yeah, sold out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't ever remember advertising that was sold out like a day before too. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, you guys faced Central, big challenge. You guys took down Spring Grove. What's the next big challenge you guys face this season? Our next game, York High. I mean, that's we got to focus on next game now, and no game is going to be easy for us. So, yeah. Keep pushing through, and good luck this season. Thank you. That's all from all of us here at High Street Morning News. We wish you a great day and stay classy, Northeastern. <laughs>